Hello, campus members from all around the world. I'm Davide, and I'm really glad to be here. This digital edition of Campus Party, it's always great to be here, even if in this strange times of the world. So tonight, I'm very proud to share the stage with someone special, a great artist, one of the best metal singers of all time, the front woman of Lacuna Coil, Cristina Scabbia. So Hello. how are you, Cristina? <laughs> Hi, Davide. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being yeah. here with us, with those two crazy, crazy people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. We are not. We, we, we feel always a little bit strange to to stay on a, on a stage like that. But it's true that um, Christina, you represent a word that some sometimes we we forget to talk about when we are talking about rebooting the word, the expression of the people. So uh, since we have just 30 minutes and we are two people who talks a lot, I'm going just, uh, just uh, I'll jump straight into the main topic of this talk. So COVID, the pandemic has been tough for everyone, yeah. but the music and the show busy business were undermined at their core. So as an artist, how are you coping with that? And uh, how do you think will change the music industry and the music shows uh, after this period will be over or at least will be better. It feels crazy because it has already changed the music industry because everything stopped. There is nothing happening. Gatherings, of course, are not possible. And concerts are all about gathering, are all about people getting together, sweating together, singing in each other's face. So of course, everything stopped, no traveling uh, allowed. Uh, we had to cancel two tours and of course I know many many friends and artists that had to do uh, the same and the, the craziest thing is that we don't know when everything will restart again because in other jobs at least that they had a word okay you're gonna start you know this month uh, you know with um, some security uh, things to to take care of to to be to be careful about but all off but for us and all the artists around the world is really difficult and it's not about artists only but there is a lot of people who works behind the scene and a lot of people tend to forget this because it's not only a problem of singers and musicians but it's also a problem for whoever builds stages whoever is working in venues the owners of venues that have to close down sometimes because of covid so it is a huge huge a problem and the old business has been heavily affected. And how was for you? Uh, I know that you, you are very active on social media, but very. you are uh, active in, a, in some way that it's not uh, common. Uh, as a, Other artists, for example, they uh, sing a lot, they sing a lot, or they're sharing their, their, pers their professional lives uh, while you are sharing your personal lives. So uh, how has been your pandemic? Well, that was my my personal choice because a lot of colleagues decided to pre-record some vocals and some music to put it online because, I mean, this is their usual job. Uh, I have decided, as you said, to go to, to, to follow a completely different direction and actually to learn something new because you're right. I'm very, very present in social medias and I love the contact with uh, my fans, direct contact. But I wanted to learn something uh, something more about the net because I'm always connected with the net even for my job so not only taking care of my social medias which is something that I absolutely do 100% personally but also creating a twitch platform for example and learning so many new things and that helps me with my creativity uh, I can learn a lot of more things it's still good promo for me and my band so it's still work but I'm having a fantastic time and this is the best when you can learn something new, when you can be creative and, you know, you can share it with the rest of the world. It makes everything very, very exciting. Yeah. And what, uh, what I think looking at you, but uh, uh, even, uh, even other artists, uh, do you think that this kind of relationship between you and your community beyond, uh, be, uh, between uh, you and your community or between uh, the music listeners and the artists uh, is going to remain after after this period or uh, there is something that has changed because uh for many of us uh, the artists are are showing something else do you think that this other part of the of the of your nature 
will 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 uh, will stay after when the, the things will is gonna be alright. Well, I don't know about the others, but it will definitely last. Uh, in in my case, because it's something that I always did. Uh, all I did in this in this period of lockdown was to intensify this uh, relationship. Uh, and only because you know when I'm on tour, maybe I don't have enough time to get connected on on Twitch or on my social medias uh, uh, every single day for for uh, for hours. Uh, that is the only change. But I I love the fact that beside, of course, the lockdown, a lot of artists are showing their real life because I always hated filters. I always hated the superficially. Uh, superficiality of uh, some social medias where everything has to be perfect has to be delivered like your life is perfect uh, you're beautiful and you don't fit if you're not beautiful rich or popular i love the fact that, that there is a new normality that is pushing through uh, i think this lockdown is really useful i mean if we want to find a positive thing out of this uh, out of this lockdown to rediscover a beautiful normality cool and do you think that's uh this kind of connections is gonna be are gonna affect your professional life i mean um this a lot of um uh, twitch you say you say twitch but even instagram are going to change the life of uh, of the singers of the band do you think that uh your next tour or your next performance could be streamed could be um Mm, we can talk about that on social platform. Uh, there's there is space for a new version of the storytelling of the music on this absolutely, platform. Absolutely, I think that there are a lot of options. I mean, we're still working as Lacuna Coil behind the scenes because uh, I mean, even if we're not playing shows, the 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 story of Lacuna Coil, the project Lacuna Coil, goes on because we have a lot of plans for next year and also for this year because we're talking about a special something that will happen in September and this is the very first time that I'm talking about this I can't go into details but of course it will be regarding music and internet that's all I can <laughs> say <laughs> so just place your bet people just we, we got we got a clue to investigate on yeah we will announce it soon but you're the first to know wow. Well, um, yeah, so I, I just after this news, it's quite uh, great news for everyone who loved who loves Lacuna uh, Colts and music because um, it's just like the, the world is starting again and uh, connecting to the main topic of this event, rebooting the world. Uh, after these months, do you uh, if you could change something of the music industry, if you could reboot something? Uh, there's something you would change? Well, there are some things that, that I would definitely change because uh, I think that a lot of people are underestimating the value and the importance of music in the world. We hear music all the time and so much that we got so used to it that we think it's just something happening. So a lot of people is not really considering the hard work than musicians, singers, uh, are are doing creating music sometimes to be a musician is not even is not even considered to um is not even consider a job so if i could change something i would apply some more rules to protect the job of uh, a musician and something that kind of stretch the importance of saying music it's great it's beautiful we all want it but it doesn't really happen all of a sudden there is someone who creates it. There is someone who records it. There is a lot of work behind and a lot of money involved. So when you do it for a living, I mean, you're spending a lot of money because it is your life and it is your job. So I would change some regulations, especially of music online or, you know, some platforms that are not giving enough compensation to a lot of musicians. I mean, we, we could talk forever, you know, about yeah, I, I think that in, in some way uh, this the lockdown months are are going to change our relationship with the creativity in general mm -hmm. uh, because we were we were forced to stay at home so in some way rediscover for the people who are just not used to um, exercise their creativity we were forced to use our um, our creativity side or creative side so I think that you're right when you say uh, there's 
there, we should uh, give more more freedom to artists, but more freedom to all the people who want to create something because uh, there is an an incredible value in what we create every day. Yeah. And yeah, and what from what I can see from social platform in these months is that the the meeting for the meeting of our artists and people is something great because we are just uh, reducing all the distances. And Absolutely. it's amazing, and it's amazing. Uh, yeah. And you, you, you are very. Um, you have a, a great relationship with your community, yes. for example. And uh, how do you value all the relationship? And it's it's different the the relationship you have with your fans on stage when you're singing and or after a live show, and your relationship with your social fan is something different, or are two sides of the same coin? It is because it is more personal because, of course, you know, I'm still part of Lacuna Coil, of course, yeah. and the majority of these people came closer to me because I'm the singer, the female singer of Lacuna Coil. But at the same time, they want to get more close to Christina, the person. And this is, in a way, out of Lacuna Coil because, I mean, my personality, my goals, my, my taste in food and music and video games, whatever, it's something really personal. So I love the fact that I'm our fans, my fans can discover more of myself because the world completely changed. Even in social medias now, huge artists, like for example, Lady Gaga, are getting more exposed, are answering fans, are showing themselves, you know, with slippers in their own house without makeup. So the old communication changed drastically. And I love this because there is a lot of more, um, uh, truth coming out of it all. Okay, I saw a question for three three hundreds of seconds. Uh, okay, uh, there's a question from our for our yeah. audience. So, as fans, we love the fact that Christina shows herself as truly human, and it feels like she's far more than just a singer and becomes more mm -hmm. like a friend, bringing the band closer to our hearts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a great message. So yeah, I feel I feel the same. I mean, I'm, I feel I feel there is um, you know a sort of a friendship developing. You know, with people around the world, and of course, you know, in the net, distances are not existing. So you can write to someone in Australia in a second, even if you're far, <laughs> a yeah. lot of kilometers from each other. And I, I love this. I love the the message and. That was the goal. I'm I'm really glad that they, they see me this way. Thank and, you. <laughs> <laughs> and th thanks to you because uh, it's uh, I, I, I you know that I'm looking at your live on Twitch because yeah I like that you you are a, a nice radio to um, <laughs> for me when I'm working uh, on something else. And we talked a lot about the the thing or uh, the perception of the people on the other side of the screen. Yes. Um, you are you are always very. Uh, quite honest and saying, I'm this, and I'm a singer, and I like a lot of things, but uh, I'm the same thing as you. I'm a gamer, or I'm a, uh, I'm a girl just trying to uh, just keep fit, or... But sometimes the perception of the other side of the screen is strange, and uh, the, st the personal storytelling sometimes uh, feels strange, because you, you, you say one thing, and the, the, the ne next day someone is going to tell you, oh, y yesterday you told me that you played this thing, so you're a great uh, gamer or whatever. So there's yeah. there are some issues in the online communication that for you as an artist, uh, it sounds strange. Well, um, uh it is very, um, I mean, it's going to sound really weird to say, but I think that everyone that has a page, uh, especially with a lot of followers, has the power to somehow uh, manipulate uh, the followers. Uh, I don't do that because I try to be, you know, as more honest that I, that I, that I can, as, as you said. But I, I noticed that it's really, really easy to convince others that you could be different than you are. Uh, it happened a lot of times on a, on a sad note of people that looked super happy online. They looked like they had a most perfect life and they were smiling all the time and they committed suicide because the real life is always something completely different than what you show online. They will never see your super low moments. They will never see you, I don't know, struggling to pay your bills. They will never see you 
having a fight with a I don't know the neighbor because those things are the things that you usually don't uh, want to show. By the way, I'm fine with my neighbors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't about myself, but just to say that sometimes it's easy to fall for it and sometimes it's easy to make comparisons because we all want to be perfect as the people that we see online. And this is very tricky, very dangerous. It's something that is really far, uh, is really difficult to, uh, to get far from. Mm -hmm. Very. Yeah, yeah, it's so, uh, so you, uh, I love the fact that you're, you always say that I'm learning to, uh, it's one of the things you say most of the time when you're online, I'm learning to do something. Yeah, and I do you think learn. that, <laughs> do you I think that, I uh, learn until the end. <laughs> Uh, do you think that uh, um, we are going to learn how to to manage the the way we, we even the fan? Uh, uh, I mean, we are going to learn how to how to manage our relationship with people far away, with people that are more uh, famous than us. Because I think that sometimes, even from our point of view, there's some there's some room for improvement in our, in, in the way we talk to. Uh, let's call famous people but it's just something that's just a brand which I, I just put there yeah. uh, I think that there's some room to improve because sometimes uh, it 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 feels weird it feels weird and yeah um well what do you think about what the other people say to you sometimes yeah. uh, it's, sometimes... it's a thin line it's a thin yeah. line because like to give you like a very very silly and short example yeah. um I love to be uh, friendly with whoever you know follows me, whoever I talk to online. But at the same time, if I was walking on the street and someone would jump, you know, in my arms, like it's someone that I've been knowing forever, I would feel weird. So uh, the, the the line is really really thin because I mean you want to be as close as you can, but of course, real life might be different. So I think we are all trying to improve our relationship because relationships through the net are still you know different than than real life so the the, the connection live for example when we are on a concert is different than the connection that we can have when we are on on our social medias but it's still fantastic because it's still a connection it's just different <laughs> <laughs> so uh Talking about something different, do you think that in the future this this period will will affect in terms of creativity uh, the bands and the artists? Do you think that the music of the future will be different in some way? I am not sure about that. Um, even during the lockdown, I mean, I've heard some musicians and artists that are super inspired uh, in doing new music. Uh, for me, it was quite the opposite because I didn't want to connect something that I love with all my heart, like music, with a lockdown, with a pandemic. Mm -hmm. So I didn't feel creative in that way. And that's why I chose another path. And I was like, okay, let's be creative on another path. L let's do something that uh, I, I love to do. And let's bring this energy okay. towards the music of Lacuna Coil for when we will come back on a stage. Uh, so I think it's really, um, uh, I mean, it really depends on, on an artist. I know people that have been able to to write a, a full record, but to be honest, I mean, I didn't really want to talk about a lockdown. I didn't really want to talk about like, oh, I feel miserable at home because I can't go out, you know, with my friends. To me, there is no happiness. There is no satisfaction in this. And I don't want to transfer this in the music. So I don't think that my future in music will be influenced by the lockdown because I will do everything I can to forget the lockdown. Cool. So, so it's interesting because um, as all the struggling periods of, the, of our times, uh, we can have different outcomes from that. So it's, it's, for example, there are other artists, as you said, that are composing songs to the lockdown periods in, uh, inspired by the lockdown period. So, uh, but do you think that uh, the fact that uh, a lot of a lot of the artists are going to um, to work from home because they are working from home mm -hmm. uh can influence the, the in terms of uh, uh the music we listen in terms of what instruments what sounds because it, and uh i'm asking this as a music fan you you 
Christina, you are an amazing fan. You are listening to all to everything. And do you expect that a lot that, that we're gonna listen some more electronic vibe music or uh, home studio music in some way? Uh, it's something that I'm I'm wondering from myself. So it's just uh, a chat between friends right now. Well, so <laughs> we we already used to write a lot of music from our homes okay. from our computer, and then we would meet to share ideas. But I mean, writing music from home, it's something that is not new at all, okay. uh, at least for us. And I know that a lot of artists are just composing at home and then they make choices and they decide uh, what songs are going in records and whatnot. Uh, so I'm not seeing, at least in our case, um, something like, oh my God, we're gonna change you know, the way okay. we write uh, our music. Maybe some artists that are used to compose their music in, in, in a rehearsal room, because I know bands that are just like starting from scratch in the rehearsal room and they start all together and whatever comes out, uh, it, it, it's okay. Maybe some bands will start with a different approach. But for us, it was quite normal. I mean, we have a great relationship with technology, with computers, with setups uh, that that I mean it's not it's not new to us I mean we put a lot of electronic arrangements as well in our music so we love real instruments but we also love electronic instruments so we're gonna listen to the uh, the next step of Lacuna Coil because another thing that um it's amazing from Lacuna Coil you know that uh, I really like the fact that every 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 record has its own sound so there's something you want to explore in the future because you have uh, you have a, a radio friendly record you have a very aggressive the last one was very aggressive um so and in, if you think about Kamalize, it was more connected to the the gothic vibes if you can say that mm -hmm. so in the future what you there are some uh there's something you want to explore to be honest, I don't know, because we, we like to go with the flow. So every time we write for a new record, the music, it's representing what we are living in that period. So I don't think that we're going to write a new record at least for another year, two years, mm -hmm. because uh, Black Anima came out in October. So we were supposed to be on the road now to, you know, to promote the record. And this is what we will do for sure next year. So, I mean, we said a lot of things in that record. We communicated a lot of things in that record. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I mean, we don't want any boundaries. We don't want any barriers. Uh, so I don't think it will ever happen. But if one day we would wake up and just like, we want to do a techno record, uh, we would partially feel free to do it. But at the same time, we know what Lacuna Coil is. So... We don't want barriers, but we know what Lacuna Coil is. So it comes out very natural for us, you know, to stay in that area. <laughs> but but I, I'd, love love I'd love a techno. I'd love, I, I'd love Lacuna Coil place techno. It, it would be amazing. Well, yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, it maybe would be called in with a different name, but we yeah. know what Lacuna Coil is. Yeah. Lacuna Coil is rock metal. We love rock yeah. and metal. Um, there might be some influence, you know, like yeah, maybe but a technical I, influence in a song, maybe yeah. why not? Uh, yeah, because what I what I what I think is that in this period we uh, have learned how to mesh up things because we were at home, we were we were trying to to coping ourselves with this with this situation, and uh, mesh up with it. If we uh, if I must say that something that. Um, there's a brand for this period is the mashup because we are seeing a lot of strange connection between things. So probably we can say that today, but we we are gonna we are gonna listen a lot of more mashup in the future. Why it's not? I mean, I was always I was always pro uh, contaminations in uh, yeah. in music because uh, it, it's like a it's like a circle. Uh, when we hear something that sounds really new someone already did it before in a different way so it's a continuous cycle like fashion uh, if it's too old to remember it becomes new again uh, that's why i mean for me the best thing is to keep your ears up and listen to everything and look at everything because there is always something uh, again to learn and something to uh, to absorb and be creative in a different way, mixing up things. So I absolutely agree with you. 
So cool. I'm gonna so let's sing let, let's think about cool mashup. So we have techno and metal. So we can have uh well, there are uh, other things to do. Or what you mean? No, I mean there's there are a lot of mashup we can uh that we can we can we could listen to because for example you said techno and metal could be amazing because uh, there's something that if you think if you think about uh some way there's there have been done but I, I think that um in flames one time did something like more dancing uh, with a, in a single so um, yeah, they're, they're absolutely yeah i yeah, mean yeah. i know them they're friends of mine and we're always talking they they even did a, a version of one of their songs or or maybe a whole record in uh, eight beat music mm, i don't know if it's probably no, song for sure. yeah a, some for sure i don't know if this is a, a record song for sure so they're always open you know to do something different and something that is not necessarily uh metal because i mean the only way to 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 evolve as a human being as an artist it's to always discover things you know to get stuck it's not creativity that's repeating yeah. yourself over and over and it's never healthy it's never good so I, I don't think that I, it's gonna I, I think this is gonna change our the music festival in some way because uh if we can think about uh a show for example because you can just you use a venue particular venue with maybe not a lot of people in next month probably you are you ain't gonna see a, a proper music festival for a while unfortunately yeah. so yeah. In, in this place i was thinking well when we were talking and do you think that it's gonna uh, an online music festival could be a more mixed than another kind of music festival for example the uh, the Wacken metal fest it's a very important metal fest uh, historical metal fest but if you think about the the twitch version of the Wacken metal fest or uh, uh, another festival do you think that it's uh it can be uh cool to mix up things and maybe listen to lacuna coil and a pop a pop star like i would that? personally absolutely love it i mean yeah. uh, i mean i sing in a metal band but I listen to music in general, so I would have no problems in, you know, in seeing a festival where there is a band that it's super, super metal, and then I don't know Grimes. Uh, I, I, I have, I have no, no problems. So there is, I think there is good music and bad music. I am against dividing genres, and the good and bad music, it's according to your own taste. Because, I mean, unless you are unable to play, unless you're completely untuned, it's hard to say that some music is bad. It's always about your personal taste and the feelings that this, this music is communicating to you. Uh, so I would, be, I would be totally up. I would go. Yeah. I would have no problems. I would not be like the person saying like, oh, <laughs> this is not a full festival with metal. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, yeah. So YouTube and Twitch, listen to us. Play, make a great music festival a for great everyone. Music yeah. festival that makes everyone crazy and everybody yeah. will be like, "What? Yeah, yeah what's yeah. going on? Ariana Grande is playing with Rammstein. What the hell is going on?" Wow, oh, it's amazing! <laughs> it's really <laughs> amazing. Crazy. Yeah. So, uh, if we are going to end our time soon, so uh, just to wrap up things, uh, in the future we're probably gonna listen to. A lot more music because I think that will be uh, you artists are missing it. So we have a, a certain point of uh, our lives, uh, probably next year, a lot of shows to to, to go to, to see, and yeah. a lot of new things to listen to. And uh, in, ter in terms of uh, a lot of people doing the same thing because everyone wants to be back on the run. Uh, do you think that's going to be too much offer in the next, in, the, in the 2021? It's going to be insane. Well, uh, for us, I mean, we, we had to postpone all the things that we were supposed to do this year to next year. Uh, and I think this is mostly going to happen for all the bands. So, yeah, it will be chaotic, but not that much. And we are lucky because we can, we can work around the world uh, as a band. So... Uh, and in this, we are extremely lucky because I know some artists that are only working in Italy that are really suffering because they don't have the chance to say, okay, when, when this will be over, I will be able to go to Japan, Australia, 
uh, America. Uh, so in this, we are we are really we're really lucky. But uh, yeah. yeah, let's hope that we will all be on the road and music will explode again in the streets. So uh, for now, our time is over 30 minutes where too few but thanks so much Christina for being here thank with you. us uh, thank, you. thank you everyone who was here with us so see see you on the road in the meantime on or your social media so follow her follow her follow her <laughs> <laughs> so bye bye bye